definitely back with another video. It's been so long. I've been meaning to make a video, but life happens and I'm prioritizing other things and sleep. But I'm still powerlifting. Um, most recent video, most recent powerlifting session was horrible. Today's what, November 27th, I think it is? Someone's birthday that I know, and I'm pretty sure it's the 27th. My meet's November 18th, and I'm telling people that's like eight weeks out, I think. I think it's seven and a half weeks out already. And I tell people, like, that's coming up already. It's soon. Everyone's like, oh, it's still got a while. It's like, not really. Because if it's seven weeks out, it means you got seven sessions left. Fourteen at the very most if you do two a week. Um, but it's about seven for me. I just benched twice this week. Oh, I still got to bench. So bench twice is three variations, and everything else I do once. Squat and deadlift. I was, uh... I did a high bar the other week. I was like, I'm going to start a high bar block, which will be my second squat, because I've just been doing once a week on everything. Um, bench, I was doing in Larson with a second variation. And then now I'm going to do block presses. But, like, I've noticed with block presses, I'm going to be, you should do a small block. Because if you do anything, like, from the three block, with the bench blocks that you put on the bar, anything, like, the three block and higher is kind of pointless, in my opinion. It's just tricep strength and you getting used to the weight. But you're, like, limiting all that range of motion that you're going to be doing on meet day. So I use the small block. There's this block and then this block. So I'm starting with the smaller block, relatively heavy, and spinal presses. So three variations, two days. Um, but mainly this last week, man, I did horrible. Um, it was squat. I couldn't even triple C75. It was so bad. And last week was kind of like a bye week. I didn't record. I did lift, but it was like a whatever week. I call it a bye. It wasn't a you know bye in football. They practice, but they don't play. That's how I understand it. I don't watch football. But that's what I did. I practiced, but I didn't really play, and I kind of did whatever. Like, I went to the commercial gyms, didn't even go to the powerlifting gym, and it was a big mistake because there's no combo racks at commercial gyms, obviously. You go to EOS, and you go on base. There's two gyms on base at Hill, Hill Air Force Base, and I, I got the $26 one for EOS. You can go to any and bring whoever you want just to have more options and just go to any EOS I want to. Some are open all day, some aren't. The ones on base are open all day. One is, one isn't. Then I have the powerlifting gym two to three but i only go once a week obviously get a day pass because i don't need anything but the calorie plates and the power bar so these the power the it's not power bars that they have commercial gyms just have barbells they're not power bars and there's no knurling in the middle so i didn't have chalk you're not supposed to take chalk to commercial gyms people do it but i respect it and i was like i'm not going heavy anyway just 365 for like a three by three on squat it was so slippery my back was so sweaty shit almost fell off my back um the height was perfect on squat for low bar, but then it got too high, the heavier it got, so it was hard for me to put it back because, like, my back was sweaty, my hands were sweaty, and it's, if you do not have chalk with low bar and you have a sweaty back, sweaty hands, good luck because you may not re-rack that, you may drop it, you may fall on your back. It almost happened to me at Legends, the power lifting in Virginia, which, and I didn't have chalk that day. Um, and that was with the power bar, Ohio power bar. So, I don't know, I, I don't know, like, my left hip has been clicky. Um, this is probably one of the worst preps I've ever done I seriously thought of dropping out because it's just that bad and I don't think I can uh, refund or transfer this meat so I'm kind of stuck with the meat whether I total a thousand pounds or 1200 plus because I haven't done more than 1240 last meat was 1207 1206 but I even thought of just doing a thousand pound meat because which is not heavy obviously um, because I don't know I just the back of my knee my left knee it's on my left side the back of my left knee it's like my hamstring Achilles tendon whatever it is it's tight when I squat. It's only when I squat when my left hip is clicky. Bench was good, and it was still pretty good this week. That was the only thing that went good. Um, I didn't do any singles, top sets. Uh, I just kind of getting back into it because the week before, like I said, 365, 3 with it, couldn't even do that. I did 3, 2, that's it. And it was like 315. Bench, that one was okay. I think I just did like 220. For like a, I think 215 for like a 4x3, I forgot. Deadlift. I didn't deadlift last week, so I just um I don't mind taking a week off from deadlift because that has the most energy reserve, so it's like whatever. Uh, so it's not going good. Uh, I don't even know if I can single, like top set, triple, single, double how I normally do because I just haven't been feeling good lately. Uh, like in terms of like pain wise, and I just I, know, I just didn't feel it this last one. So here's what I've been doing. It's like the last four sessions I think. Um. It's just the top sets I did, and it's right here. It was like 452. I've just been 424. I haven't gone more than that on squat. Single, I haven't single more than I haven't doubled it. Just single 424, and it's been feeling okay. But then this 
this last two weeks just not feeling it. Bench, I did like 243 for triple. That was pretty good. And then 248 for like a single, and that wasn't that great. I feel like I had this past week of more in me, but honestly, the videos are going to be right here. I'm not really going to go over them. You could see it right here. Um, they speak for themselves. They're going good. I did 457 for three. 452 for three, I think, and 440 for four. Those were two different weeks. Those were great. And I felt good. And then 479 for one. And it was hard. And my freaking right heel always comes up. I hate that. Because your weight should be on your heels. And then my right heel decides to, like, come up mid rep, But I still get it. But I hate that shit. Um, I don't know. So, like, my body's been messing with my mind. Um, confidence is there. Like, I'm never unconfident in anything. I hate that word first of all i don't believe you can be confident some people do i don't know why i'm saying that word but i think you either you are or you are not you look at someone you think that person is someone walks in the room they look like they own it it's like okay that person's got it they are like to be to not to be see some dork walk in it's like that person's not they don't got it that's just how i look at it compared to when people say confidence so like i always feel like i got it but like physically it makes me hold back mentally because it's not smart to push the way i could push just because I've done it before so it's just kind of limiting because you should always have something that's been saying every week shouldn't be an rp 10 so sometimes even something that's not even that heavy like 402 this week on squat would have been super hard for me i know i could have done it for one on squat but it wasn't worth it so i did what 375 for two and then i just re-racked it and i did 363 for a four by three which is very light i was pausing 342 for a four by four real pause so yeah, if, I mean, I'm sure this happened before, like, um, leading up to the, the Ohio-Idaho meet, July 15th, and when I was in tech school in Ohio, like, March, April, I had clicky hip, and I was so weak, because I had just finished BMT, so I was still getting my strength back from not lifting for seven and a half weeks, and just getting back into it, and then I got better, so maybe that'll happen this time, because it's around the same exact time as that Idaho meet, and... I was doing sumo because I had a strain on my lower right lumbar, so I didn't want to make that worse. It didn't hurt. It just felt a little strenuous. So now I'm back to conventional. I said I'd never do sumo in a meet, but I did it. Um, sumo is cool, but like for those who say sumo is easier, for me it's not because I only did 501, and I've done 523.5.6, whatever, conventional, but I weighed more. So one would argue 501, 26 pounds lighter is about the same. I would say they're about the same for me. But it's not easier for me, like, honestly. And I think I could do more conventional. This meet will prove it. Whether, of course, I haven't done sumo that long, but, like, I haven't even done sumo since since Idaho. But I'm saying, like, um, no, I did. I switched back to conventional after, like, three weeks, something like that. But what I'm saying is I know I could do more than 501.5, 100%. And that'll prove that conventional for me is easier than sumo. Even though sumo feels better for me, conventional, I've done it way longer, but it's not like a 50 pound stronger lift for me, sumo, like other people, or like a 100 pound strong, whatever. It's not way stronger for me. Like Jamal Brown or his sumo was stronger than his conventional, but his conventional is strong to me. They're, to me, they're pretty much identical twins. Uh, just different movements for sure, different leverages. And I'm hip down this, so sumo feels good. But I like conventional better, so I'm back to that. Yeah, it's, I notice like when I. I do like a dynamic warm up where I do like 90 90 stretches. I've shown in some videos like 90 90s, eight of those, hip circle, 16 of those, the monster walks, like eight to the front, eight to the back. And then I do like, um, it's not like dynamic straight, but like hold, like flamingos, two second hold, three each side, and then knee, three second hold, each side. Just keep the blood, and it's mainly for my hips, and it feels good, but I notice when I don't stretch, I feel better. So maybe I should just stop stretching. Because I always stretch. But I'm big on stretching. Dynamic for sure. Static. I used to do dynamic before lifting any, any body part and static after. But I feel like dynamic is before is more important because you're about to get warmed up. You can always do static for no reason, like on a day off. So I would say dynamic before. Um, what did I do? Bands. I do bands too, like for rotator cuff, uh, rear delts, traps for bench. Um, all that stuff. I say if you like, I'm kind of just talking to myself right now, but maybe some someone can relate to this. If you're kind of in a rut like me, or just kind of in a little funk, I don't know. Just keep doing what you're doing, and don't dwell on it. Because like I know this is just a little like uh, 
pole in the road, I know I'm going to come back better. I don't think every time this happens, I always come back better. Always. Even if it's two weeks before meet week, um, it's happened in the past. Like, I don't know. I'm going to get back. I am crazy. Like, I don't know how or why or what, but I've had meets where I open at and deadlift specifically. Yeah, deadlift. For, that one for sure. Because, like, that one I'm always like, I have the most energy reserves on deadlift. You could take a week off and you'll be fine on deadlift. I'm a firm believer, and it goes good for me. And I've read stuff like that, and I believe it. And that's the last lift of the day. It's the strongest lift for most people. Not all people, but most people. I'm open at 490, and I didn't touch 490 that. Like, I didn't even touch 490 to prep. Or maybe like 45, and it was heavy. And I've opened at 490 like nothing. And I'll show right here. It was in Long Beach. This one right here. Uh, what else have I done? I've just done numbers on deadlift. I just pulled it out of my ass because I knew I'd have more of a meat day. That's only for deadlift though because I've tried with squat with second attempts, not openers, and it didn't work. <laughs> but deadlift I have. So what I'm saying is I've, I've done some pretty crazy things. So I, it's not crazy. It's just more like opening with something I wasn't very comfortable doing for three because that's the rule. A bad day, you should be able to triple your opener on a bad day for three. Um, but I haven't followed that rule and it's gone good for me. So that doesn't mean it'll go good every time or it has gone good every time. But if I could do stuff like that, I should be fine. So there's me coming up. It'll be in California at the powerlifting gym I used to go to, Fitness Underground. Haven't been there since I left. Literally have not stepped foot in there since I left. Going home, kind of like a home because the gym and home for me is going from. I think I can total past 1240, my best total at 206. And this will be like at 181. Uh, that's what I weighed last week. I barely made the weight. Which will be a, good, a big deal if I can tie my best total or beat it. Or even be a little under like 1220. That is so weak saying like 1220, 1240. Like I am not comparing myself to other people. I don't do that. But other people are like 14, 1500. And they were like on my level at one point. Of course they haven't lost weight. Some of them gained. Some of them stayed. But honestly still like I'm so freaking weak. Especially like when people who don't part of tell me. Oh you're so strong. You're probably this and that. Blah, blah. Like I'm like I am weak. You don't know. Like you do not know part of the standards there's a 21 year old french girl stronger than me lighter than me younger than me samantha eugene i think that's her name so i'm not strong um but i think my progress remains consistent with the weight loss or no weight loss bmt no bmt just trying to get better um i just picked up golfing and i broke my freaking driver oh my god that's so heartbreaking um yeah it's fun going to driving range trying not to just hit with the driver my Lieutenant Colonel, he's the flight commander. He's in the Gulf since he was seven years old. He said, don't just use the driver, use the seven iron. And then I broke it. He's like, I thought you were going to use the seven iron. I was like, I know, but it's fun hitting with the driver, especially as a four, as a baseball player. So I got other things going on, and I'm doing other stuff. doesn't really matter. I moved out of the dorms finally. This is my apartment. I moved in. I spent time doing that. But there's no excuse. I had time to do videos. I just hadn't got to. And I kind of wanted to do like a recap of everything I've done in one video like now, and then get more consistent consistent after that so this is just me updating everything kind of um so that's the video that's the, the recap of my lifts i'll be updating more consistent because i want to look back and see how this meet prep went for when i finally do compete because i don't have that for the idaho me or in some means i just like, kind of don't know what i did it's kind of like that's what i perform that's what i lifted but i forget what the prep leading up to especially peak went up to and i'll be peaking pretty soon so yeah that's it for the video like it, don't forget to comment, share, subscribe.